tick, 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 tick. Well, for that last. It's week 16 of the National Football League, and we've got the Seahawks, leader at quarterback. After his last game, now across 3,000 yards for the season, it's the Seahawks and the Chiefs just ahead on EA Sports. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you to GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Coming up, we've got the show trying to be between the Seattle Seahawks and the Kansas City Chiefs. Hello again, everybody, alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Chiefs ball club. seen the calendar for these guys their bodies could probably use a break but they have to push on and they're really not as worried about that as maybe we think they know they get the entire so out come the Seahawks now for their first possession and a look here at their signal caller the fifth year quarterback his game last week reminded me of the old song, Accentuate the Positive. That's about, that's about all he did, right? Yeah. Three touchdown passes, over 300 yards in the air. Receivers happy. If and they got the win. Got the win. If you're running back that likes to catch passes, they're happy as well. Big time game. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Right away, they rack up 10 yards on their first play from scrimmage. For a lot of people, MVP award means the quarterback award usually, but over 100 yards again last week. Uh, they're going to have to look his way more than once when giving out this award this season, I think. Yeah, it's not just the consistency. It's been some plays that we've seen where we talk about it for weeks thereafter. That's what we're getting out of him. Over 100 yards last week. Expects to continue that in this game, too. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Brown, and his throw is going to be incomplete. Christmas Eve here in 2022, a big slate today of Saturday games. But we will have, ready for this, a triple header of action on Christmas Day tomorrow. I think it's pretty safe to say we won't have a white Christmas in any of these places, however. We start with the Packers and Dolphins in Miami at Eastern. Then we got the Broncos and Rams from Los Angeles. And then finally, the Bucks and Cowboys at 820 Eastern in the desert. Plus, one more for good measure on Monday. Plus, the famous all gone back home and Graham has puttered out of the house. Grab the leftovers and sit back and watch the Chargers and the Colts from Indianapolis. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Against a team coming off a win, just as your team did the previous week, you talk about being physical all game long. Sometimes being physical is just being on the spot and helping force the incompletion. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Throwing on first down. Brown. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So the contact came before the ball got there. And the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. Simply not much more you can ask out of your running back. Over 100 yards and the three touchdowns. And for an old coot like me, I loved it because he did it on the ground. A running back taking control of the game. That's what I like hold to see. Hold on, hold on. An old coot? Coot. C-O-O-T. All right, I'll look that up later. The last run got six. Now second and four. 
Looking to throw. Brown. It's complete here to T.Y. Hilton. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Brown now. Throwing on first down. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Late in the season now, MVP chatter starts, and he might be on the fringe. This is always an award that goes quarterback or running back. A lot Usually of bias quarterback. against him. A lot of bias. Does he deserve consideration? He more than deserves consideration because the way the game is played in the NFL now, it's a pass first move, right? So that means that people are going to adjust their defenses for him each and every week. And he's still having a big time. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And it's a quick slam to lock it. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 26. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. Now it's Carson. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. This running game is so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it. It's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week. And right now, we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. And the officials here... Going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured Chief on the field. Always unfortunate to see an injury, especially this close to the end of the regular season. We'll step aside. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They run again with Carson. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Fourth down now after a loss of two. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. the Seahawks and partner I know so far and we're still in the first half but you love this game as a defensive guy zero to zero we'll see if the offense can get going on this drive well you know how they talk about music to your ears how about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this right where these teams are locked in and going at it no points going up on the scoreboard I'm loving it you're exactly right well switch over though to an offensive mindset for a moment what do they need to do here to get on track and get some points well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second, run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you get your skill position and the chance to make big plays in the game. Only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. No score after one on EA Sports. 
Seahawk football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a third down coming up. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Left side complete to lock it. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Has a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? Yeah, they should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not easy. Because when they when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. They run it with Carson. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. legs now. Here's another first and ten. Back to throw. Brown. And he rifles one incomplete. This could be a start with a nice stand from this defense now for getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here and have them staring at a third and long and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. The second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them to a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And they'll work this down inside the 30. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. This is Carson. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Oh, there was plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Here's Brown to throw on second down. His throw incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He put the ball up in the red zone. And excellent play. One of the many excellent points on the board when this drive is over. to throw on third down. And the throw there gonna be incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Seattle now ready to march out of the field. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not have the balls go through goalposts. Brown on first down. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new-school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. That's a 
good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Force the incompletion on first down. And you're going to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback on the expected passing situation. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Operating from the gun, Brown. He's got it to Hilton. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Clock running, and the Seahawks, they're running too, trying to speed up to the line of scrimmage. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Operating from the gun, Brown. This is the tight end fan. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. First down now, but that clock rolling. Looking to throw. Brown. That one caught along the sideline. Did he stay in? Yes, he did. But hang on here. A penalty marker is on the field. So they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. It's no simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're going to pick up a holding call. Back to throw. Brown. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. That's not the first time they've gone his way on this drive, and they were obviously keyed into it because they were there to help break that pass up. Second and 20. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a seat injury. And not what you want to see this late in the season. Medical staff is going to check on him. And we'll step aside for a moment. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Back to throw again. That one taken in by Dwayne Eskridge. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. And he was able to run free after the catch. One play has him up past the 40 already. And another first and 10. Operating from the gun. Brown. 
He'll lock him with a grab over the middle. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Looking to throw. Brown over the middle. He finds Eskridge. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution. They are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 57 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This throw caught right around the six. And the Seahawks are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Just picking up yardage and bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Up the middle they go. It's Carson, and not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. And he finds Lockett in the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. A great play there with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Seahawks have got it back to within a score. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and gets them right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Now the ball now going back over to the Seattle Seahawks offense. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. 
Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. And despite a nice juke there, really good move. He only gets about a yard, and it brings up second down. That felt like a trap, because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. It's a gain of 35. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Operating from the gun, Brown. They're throwing that to Eskridge on the slam. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Back to throw, Brown. And he finds Lockett in the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Well, this offense only mustered three points in the first half on that field goal. They picked up the pace now, two third-quarter touchdowns. Hey, you remember that appearance we had last week in front of that crowd, and, and they asked yeah. about halftime adjustments and all that that was going on. And remember what I said, it's not always an adjustment at halftime. Sometimes just remembering the game plan and playing better, tuning it up and just work. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. Brown now. To throw from his end zone. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do. But what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. Here's second and a yard. the play fake. Brown. This is caught by Hilton. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. 22 yards there. A first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Plays have them on the move on first down. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Carson, and he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. The run. 
run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Operating from the gun, Brown. It's caught, lock it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. He's been big, two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Up the middle they go. Carson. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that's the quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Off play action, Brown. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. We're trying to erase that deficit in one play. They certainly were, but how about the reaction time and the instincts back deep to force the incompletion? We might need to mark this one down. We may look back and say, that was a game-saving play. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. They'll begin the drive with Carson, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down it's knocked away. And the Seahawks on third down, 9.50%, four for nine. This will be third and six. Looking to throw, Brown, and the catch made by Hilton, and he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. He'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 98 yards rushing for him now in this one as he is closing in on 1,800 yards for the year. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Right back to him on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Back to throw. Brown. This complete to Lockett. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 15-yard line. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Off the play fake. Brown. It's caught at the 10. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. 
Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Looking to throw. Brown throwing it in traffic there, and that's complete. Touchdown, Seahawks. Tyler Lockett with his third touchdown and 18th on the year. And the Seahawks have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They have the lead, still a one-possession game, but the defense got to stop. They've got the football now, just salted away, right? Exactly. That's all the defense is counting on from their offense. They did their job in a big way. You know they're over on the sidelines now starting to take their tape off, and, hey, we've done this thing. The offense has to put it away, and that means ball security. Absolutely. Stranger things have happened. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Ready up. Hey, hey. They'll keep it on the ground. Carson. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. It's Carson. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Up the middle they go. Carson. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That's a game of four here in the fourth quarter. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. It's a gain of four, and that should just about seal the deal. during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed at intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory. So for the Seahawks, it's another win for them. And you wonder if they want a redo on that one loss as they sit now at 14-1. and one. And they will head home next week to take on the New York Jets. Meanwhile, for Kansas City, they fall under 500 now as they drop to 7-8. and eight. And they'll have a tough one at home next week against the Denver Broncos.